Among the many new AI tools, one of them that's very interesting in Padlet is the assessment poll. This allows you to produce assessments where students can vote on what is the correct answer. So this can be perfect, for example, for language teaching, because you could have, say, three or four sentences. Three of them are incorrect. One of them is correct. Or perhaps the students have to choose the correct verb or the correct word, etc. They're not particularly creative, but they're great if you're trying to do formative assessment and check understanding. So in this video, using the free version of Padlet, I'm going to show you firstly how to create these assessments and two, I'm going to show you various ways to share them with your students. This is very easy to do and it could be either used in the classroom or as homework for the students. One last thing, many people ask me how I make my videos. I use Camtasia. If you want to try it out, there's a link to test it for free in the description. You can also buy it with a discount. I've provided a link there. And there's also a free six part course that will take you through everything in how Camtasia works. And I'll also put that in the description. Now, obviously I have an account in Padlet because I've been using it for many years. In fact, I used to use it when it was called Woolwisher. But what I've done for this video is I've created a new account. I've signed in using Google. I've created an account and I'm limited to three Padlets, but I'm gonna show you some tricks that you can use if you want to use more than three Padlets in the free tool. Let's start straight away with creating our first AI assessment. So I'm gonna click on the make button and the tool I'm going to choose is assessment poll. Now, when we come to the assessment poll, the important thing is the information that we need to complete here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create now an assessment to test students' understanding of the present perfect simple in English. And what I'm going to ask is that the system creates for me four sentences or three sentences and the students have to choose from each one which of the three is correct. We're going to have a total of something like about 30 sentences and for each group of three sentences they have to choose the correct one. And all I need to do to do that is give the instructions to Padlet. So let me just quickly fill in the instructions and then show you what I've written. So we can see the instructions here. Present perfect simple is the title or subject. I've chosen higher education. The topic or objective is practice the present perfect simple in English. I'm gonna go for a difficulty level of intermediate. And these are the instructions I've written. Students are given four sentences written in the present perfect simple and they have to choose the correct one, for example. And I've given one example. Now giving one example is really helpful because then mm, Padlet will follow the model. So let's click on the magic button and see what happens. Now it's absolutely vital that you go through and look at the questions and make sure that there is one correct answer and that the other three answers obviously are incorrect and you can't rely on the AI. It's definitely something that you need to check. Let's say that I've already looked and I'm happy with this exercise. How am I gonna share this with my students? So how are we gonna get our students to access and begin to vote on the sentences that they think are correct. Well, the answer is you're going to come up to the share button here and you've got really two key ways of doing it. First of all, copy link to clipboard, simply copy the link. You could share that into Google Classroom or Moodle or Blackboard or share it in an email or put it onto your website. Wherever you want the students to access the link, even for example, if you're teaching online, you could share it in Zoom or Google Meet. The students can click on the link and they will be able to access the poll and then complete their answers. But there is another way that works really well, and that is to use the QR code. So come down here, get QR code. And now all students need to do is open up their smartphones, turn on their camera, point it at the QR code, and that will give them access to the poll. It's a great way of, for example, using this technology in the classroom. Now a quick tip, if I come back to the Padlets by clicking up here, let's say that slowly you've used up all of your Padlets. Now so far we've only got one Padlet produced, but let's say I don't wanna delete this Padlet, but I need to free up Padlets so that I can create more. Click here and simply archive the Padlet. 
Now you can archive quite a number of Padlets. Now when a Padlet is archived, it's not live, you can't use it at that time, but it's not been deleted either. And so if you do need to access that Padlet again in the future, you, you can go to the archives and then simply, as you can see, I've got many archived, just click here and click on unarchive Padlet and it will bring the Padlet back into your main account. And that's a really good way of making better use of the Padlets that you wanna use. Just a super quick break from the video. If you like what you see and you want more free videos, then please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. You'll find loads of content, including if you scroll down on the first page. If you really want to follow my work, then sign up to the newsletter. You get updated with all the latest videos, the courses I run, the webinars that we run. And also, if you sign up at the moment, there is a free 14-part video course showing you different technologies you can use in your teaching and learning, particularly, obviously, uh, for language teachers. Finally, if you'd like to have direct training with me, the best thing to do is join me on Patreon. We run a training session once a month where we meet online and we normally look in detail at a technology and actually do activities with the technology so that we get really familiar with it. And apart from that, I also add up every month three additional videos. And these videos cover many technologies that I don't cover in YouTube. And obviously they go into much more detail and that costs just six dollars a month for the three additional videos plus the monthly meeting where we focus on many of the new ai tools that are emerging into the area of language teaching we're going to create another example now of how this assessment tool can be used so that we can see that it can be used in different ways however if you'd like to learn more about many of the ai features that are now available in padlet click on the video that's on the screen now and that will take you through some of them the advanced features because actually padlet now has ai in many different areas and in many of the different templates that we can create so we're now going to try and create a different type of poll but just one thing to remember students are voting on what they think is the correct answer so they don't actually know whether what they voted for is correct or not until you as the teacher at the end review the poll and review the results so it's really important to understand it is very much about formative assessment and it's about checking their understanding and you do need to kind of review the poll at the end and go through it and highlight what is the correct answer and discuss how many people got it right and how many people got it wrong. Right, let's have a quick look then at creating a different type of poll. So coming back to my padlets, I'm gonna click on make. I'm gonna come down again to the assessment poll and I'm gonna fill in the information here, but I'm gonna try something very different this time where the students have to choose the correct verb. So instead of the sentences, I want them to, from one sentence, to decide what is the correct verb. Let me show you how I would do that. So I've written a title, choose the verb form of past irregular verbs, level, I put basically the objective, which is practice past irregular verb forms. I've given an example here, so where the students have to choose between spended, spent, spect, and spending. So they've got to choose, yeah, the, the correct past form of the verb, and I'm hoping that they're all gonna be irregular. I'm gonna click on the magic create button, and I'm hoping it's gonna copy that format and do exactly the same thing for me. Now, unfortunately, it's made a few mistakes and I did point out to you that the AI is never 100% reliable because it's actually used some verb forms that are regular. And so the easiest thing to do in that particular case is to just delete it because you can't actually edit the option. So I'm gonna delete that one because that one isn't correct. And also I'm gonna delete this one more example. If we come down here, this one here is also just using regular verbs. So we're gonna delete that as well. Now, one thing to keep in mind then when you do this, sometimes it's a good idea to actually uh, ask for more polls than you're planning on using because you know that a couple of them you may need to delete. We're now ready to start. The only annoying thing is, of course, now that the numbering system is slightly wrong, but uh, we could probably overcome that by telling uh, Padlet not to number the polls and maybe I should have given those instructions but now of course everything would be the same and we would share this and the students would now obviously choose the verb that they think is correct or the verb form that they think is correct. 
really glad that you stayed to the end of the video and don't forget what I mentioned if you sign up to the newsletter on teachertrainingvideos.com there is a 14 part course it's completely free there are no tricks uh, in using technology in teaching and learning and nearly everything that I recommend is free if you do want to contact me about doing some training with you, perhaps with your institution, you can contact me from the website. I run workshops, I do lots of conferences. I sometimes even do one-to-one -one training on very specialized technologies like Zoom and Camtasia. Finally, if you'd like to have live training with me, uh, then you can join me on Patreon. For just $6 a month, you get the chance to meet me online with the rest of the Patreon group. We normally look in detail at a particular technology and then we do activities with it so that we learn it really well. And I often show the teachers things that they don't realize about these technologies. And apart from that, I also add up videos onto Patreon that I don't use or don't add on to my YouTube channel. These are often technologies that I've not covered on YouTube or I go into more detail. So for example, you can see here on the screen now several videos that I've uploaded and we haven't covered these aspects on uh, YouTube. So if you're interested in that live training with me plus extra content that I put onto Patreon, the cost is $6 a month, then please join me. I'd love to see you on Patreon as well. I'm gonna leave some more videos on the screen now that you might find useful.